How's it going everybody? I'm Slava Natorsky and welcome to the channel. Today we're going over Marvel's Avengers version 1.3.5 patch notes. Uh, they created these on November the 9th. And as you can see the release timing is a little bit off or a little different per console or platform that you're using this on. Today is Wednesday, November the 11th, so let's hop in. PlayStation and Steam are already live with these patch notes for Xbox, which is what I'm on. Looks like Thursday we'll be getting them, November the 12th. Uh, highlights for this include a fix for an issue where inspecting gear would block the relevant stats, so we finally have a fix for that, and some XP bonuses. And it looks like they're already working on the next patch. So full patch notes. This is for the Reassemble Campaign and Avengers Initiative. Uh, performance improvements, crashes and freeze fixes. There's an issue where the same boss would be in both villain sector faction assignments each day. They fix that. I think I've actually had that myself. Uh, fix a rare issue where players become stuck in a Quinjet when traveling to an outpost. Fixed where Hulk would block the camera view when assigned as a companion. Implemented a fix for AI companions being able, unable to revive players if they are downed on top of a warbot. Uh, fix an issue during the mission Hello Old Friend where players are instructed to interact with the war table but cannot do so. Fixed a rare issue in Elite Hives where, player, where a player cannot capture the servers after being downed and respawning. Uh, fixed an issue when Thor is reintroduced and a cutscene would not load preventing progression. Fix for Black Widow and Kamala would swap character models blocking progression. And fix an issue where perks exclusive to the upcoming cloning lab, such as Lab Breaker, were incorrectly active in other modes. Now we have a bunch of art and animation fixes as well. Uh, Black Widow's baton, baton staff would appear incorrectly oriented on her back, they fixed that. Uh, have an issue where Black Widow's saboteur outfit to only have glasses on in the main menu. They fix that. Fix a rare issue which occurred when Hulk threw multiple enemies causing one to be stuck in midair in the grab animation. We have run into that. Uh, fixed a rare issue where Hulk's animation would invert when using ground shaker against power regulators. Fixed issue where Captain America would enter a broken state after canceling a ricochet throw. Fixed a rare issue where Shield generators would become invisible during the final encounter in more than inhuman. And fix an issue where Kamala's model would expand and distort when performing certain moves. Multiplayer and matchmaking, we have various fixes. Uh, there was a rare issue where players could not see themselves or their strike team when loading into a matchmaking lobby. We have run into that. Fixed a rare issue where enemies would enter an idle state and become invincible after a host leaves a multiplayer session. I don't think I've run into that. That doesn't, that doesn't sound fun. Alright, so user interface fixes. Various UI fixes including replacing placeholder text, incorrect text, and non-localized text. Updated and corrected various skill gear descriptors. Fixed an issue where sometimes inspecting gear would cover relevant stats. Improved the beam attack indicator to make players more aware of their surroundings and incoming attacks. Faction reward notification removed from Helicarrier as shield faction vendor moved to substation zero. Notifications will only appear in outposts where the vendor is at. Fix the rare issue with interact button prompts would not fill when holding the interact button. Fixed an issue where UI would be stuck on the screen indefinitely if the Hulkbuster ran out mid-interact. Mid Fix an issue where Thor's Alfheim's Favor ultimate heroic skill did not match the description at higher power levels. Fixed a rare occurrence of Iron Man's melee gear having a ranged icon slash name. Fixed the issue where the objective marker would appear on Hulkbuster when the ability was used. Fix an issue where a resource crate icon would persist when opening the crate after reloading a checkpoint. I have run into that one myself. Combat fixes. 
Uh, Captain America's Brooklyn Brawler Specialization Strong Arm did not give increase in range damage. That's been fixed. Increased time between Ab Abomination's attacks on down players to provide a better chance of revival. Intrinsic Hero Guards have been balanced to be more consistent against ranged attacks made by Keepers and Arrow Keepers. Fixed an issue where Kamala's Focused Heart skill would unintentionally refresh the Hulkbuster Energy Meter and put it in an unresponsive state. Fixed a rare issue where enemies would attack players from behind a closed door. Yeah, I'm glad we don't have that one anymore. I have had that several times. Uh, sometimes there was an issue that would result in Captain America sliding backwards after using Sprint Block. There's an issue where Black Widow would sometimes be unable to aim or shoot her ranged weapons after interacting with an object such as a console or a core. And there's an issue where enemies would become stuck in the ground after Kamala uses Crushing Grasp on them following a takedown. All of those have been fixed. Let's see here, uh, gear challenges and rewards. Added a 5% bonus XP for selecting Quick Match and a 10% bonus XP for using quick, ma quick Match with any hero. I think that's them prepping for the Kate Bishop release. Because right now all my characters are max XP. This doesn't really affect me, but I wonder if that works towards faction XP as well. I don't have those maxed out yet. Uh, gear and reward fixes across War Table missions to ensure expected slash guarantee or guaranteed rewards. Fixed an issue where the shopping spree trophy and achievement could not be or could be unlocked without making purchases from a faction vendor. I do believe I've already unlocked that, so it doesn't really affect me. And here you see if there's any platform specific fixes. PlayStation, Xbox, and Stadia don't have any. But as far as PC, they fixed the heroic UI placement on PC. And that's everything for this. So it looks like this patch was just a bunch of fixes that were needed. I hope they're getting close to the end here so they can focus more on content and less on these glitches or errors that they need to fix because we really need more content in this game. I know I've my playtime is starting to lower on it quite a bit. And I love the game. But I do, I really want more content, just like everybody else does. And uh, as far as these XP boosts coming with this, I think that's nice. They're trying to encourage people to come in and play. Probably trying to catch that new crowd. But that's everything here. I am hoping today or tomorrow we get some more information. Maybe they could release Kate Bishop or the Cloning Labs or something like that. I remember they said she was slightly delayed. I'm hoping she's not completely delayed now till the end of the year. I'm kind of feeling like that might be what's going on. I really hope not. But let me know what you think down in the comments section. Does anyone out there still play this? I know I enjoy this game quite a bit. I really don't want it to fail, but I know that they are, the devs are going through a difficult situation. Everyone is, and they've had it particularly rough. But if they could get some of that content out, I think that'll help the game immensely. Plus, I know a lot of people seem to be thinking that they're really focusing on relaunching the game next year. I get that. That could boost sales, um, or it could be, especially with the way everybody out there seems to be, everyone's more aimed towards just hating everything. Nothing, nothing is good enough. Everything is trash. If you look in comments, that's all that people say. This is trash. That's trash. You're trash. I think that it's going to be difficult to relaunch this game with that mindset being in the overall. I don't know. In the overall mindset of people and just it's very difficult there's way too much negativity and hate out there people are too quick to trash on something when it's not bad and I get it, this game has its own issues there's a lot of things to do but I'm talking an overall general mindset of the public a lot of people just hate on things way too quick and I think it's mainly because people are very unhappy right now because of lockdowns things like that so there's a lot of hate out I just uh, think everyone should kind of calm down take a step back and realize things aren't as bad as they think they are. But that's it. I'll get off my soapbox now. I hope everyone out there has a great one. Let me know what you think down in the comments section. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll talk to you again in the next video. Thanks, guys.